The farewell pilgrimage Arabic, Hit Alda was the last and only Hajj pilgrimage Muhammad, Prophet of Islam, participated in 632 CE The Muslims observed every move, act, and gesture of Muhammad on this occasion, and everything that he did became a precedent to be followed by Muslims all over the world. Topic. Beginning of the journey Muhammad lived in Medina for ten years and had not performed Hajj in full, although he had performed the Umrah on two previous occasions. The revelation of the verse And proclaim to the people the Hajj pilgrimage, they will come to you on foot and on every lean camel, they will come from every distant pass 2227, caused him to announce that he would go on the Hajj that year. The people of Medina and surrounding towns gathered in the city to accompany the Islamic prophet during the Hajj rituals. Before his departure, he appointed Abu Duyana Ansari as governor of Medina during his own absence. On 25 Du al Qidah, four nights before the end of Du al Qidah, February 632, he left Medina, accompanied by all his wives. <laughs> Wearing Iram Before arriving in Mecca, Muhammad stayed at Mikat and taught people the manners of wearing iram. He performed ghusl ritual bath and then put on iram for hajj. His clothing in the state of iram was two pieces of Yemeni unsewed white cotton that later on became his shroud, and moved on so that he did his noon prayers in the mosque of Shahara. Muslims later built some mosques at the places Muhammad stayed and prayed. <laughs> Doing rituals. Topic. Circumambulation and prayers The next day, Muhammad and his companions arrived at the Masjid al-Haram. They entered from the gate of Dar al-Salam, went to the Kaaba and touched black stone. Then Muhammad proceeded to circumambulation of the Kaaba tawaf. Finally once again touched the black stone, kissed it and cried long near it. Then, he did two racket of prayer behind the station of Abraham. Topic. Sai After his prayers, he drank from the Zamzam well, prayed and then went to Mounts Al-Safa and Al-Marwa and said that he would begin Sai runs back and forth between the hills of Al-Safa and Al-Marwa from the Mount Al-Safa since God mentioned it in Quran first. When he arrived there, turned toward Kaaba and long prayed to God and jog trotted part of the way. When he arrived at Mount Al-Marwa, stopped and prayed. Topic. Mina and Arafat On the eighth sunset of Du al hijjah Muhammad left for Mina and stayed there for a night. Then he passed along on his camel, al Qaswa, till he reached Mount Arafat. As he ascended the mountain, he was surrounded by thousands of pilgrims chanting Talbiyah and Takbir. By Muhammad's order, a tent was erected for him on the east side of Mount Arafat at a spot called Namira. He rested until the sun passed the zenith, then he rode on his camel until he reached the valley of Urana. On the 9th of Du al hijjah he delivered his farewell sermon concerning different social rights of Muslims and led Zuhr and Asr prayer. Then he moved to plain of Arafat, stayed there and spent the afternoon in supplication. Topic. Standing at Mashar al-Haram and stoning of the devil Upon the sunset, Muhammad rode towards Mashar al-Haram and advised pilgrims that slowly pass the way. Islamic Prophet did his Maghrib and Isha prayer in Mashar al-Haram then made a rest. At the dawn, he prayed and supplicated before God, which is so much recommended in Hajj. In the morning, he went towards Mina and straightly to Jamra of Aqaba and threw seven pebbles at it. Topic. Sacrifice. He then went to place of sacrifice and sacrificed 63 the number of years he remained alive camels. He gave 37 camels from a hundred camels he had brought with himself from Medina to sacrifice. They ate little from what they sacrificed and gave the rest for charity. Then a barber got his head shaved by his order. He went to Mecca, circumambulated the Kaaba and did Zur prayer in Masjid al-Haram. After that he came near the well of Zamzam and drank its water and returned to Mina on the same day and spent days of Tashriq 11th, 12th and 13th of Dhul Hijjah there, did stoning of the devil and exited Mina. 
Topic. Return to Medina On the way back to Medina, Muhammad stopped at Ghadir Qum on Du al Hijjah 18, to convey the message to the pilgrims before they dispersed. He gave a long sermon on a rostrum of camel saddles. Part of the sermon is as follows O people, Allah the Most Kind the Omniscient has told me that no apostle lives to more than half the age of him who had preceded him. I think I am about to be called to die and thus I must respond. I am responsible and you are responsible, then what do you say? They said, we witness that you have informed, advised and striven. May Allah bless you, he said, do you not bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and apostle, and that his heaven is true, his hell is true, death is true, the resurrection after death is true, that there is no doubt that the day of judgment will come, and that Allah will resurrect the dead from their graves? They said, yes, we bear witness, he said, O oh Allah, bear witness, then he said, O oh people, Allah is my Lord and I am the Lord of the believers. I am worthier of believers than themselves. Of whomsoever I had been Mala, Ali here is to be his Mala. O Allah, be a supporter of whoever supports him Ali, and an enemy of whoever opposes him and divert the truth to Ali. O people, I will go ahead of you and you will arrive at my pond in heaven, which is wider than the distance between Basra and Sana'a. It has receptacles as numerous as the stars, and two cups of gold and two of silver. I will ask you about the two weighty things that I have left for you when you come to me to see how you dealt with them. The greater weighty thing is Allah's book. The Holy Quran. One end is in Allah's hand and the other is in your hands. Keep it and you will not deviate. That other weighty thing is my family al -al and my descendants. The most kind the omniscient had told me that both of them, would not separate until they come to my pond. Another similar narration of part of the hadith goes as follows. O people. Reflect on the Quran and comprehend its verses. Look into its clear verses and do not follow its ambiguous parts, for by Allah, none shall be able to explain to you its warnings and its mysteries, nor shall anyone clarify its interpretation, other than the one that I have grasped his hand, brought up beside myself, and lifted his arm, the one about whom I inform you that whomever I am his mala, this Ali is his mala, and he is Ali ibn Abi Talib, my brother, the executor of my will, Wasayi, whose appointment as your guardian and leader has been sent down to me from Allah, the mighty and the majestic. After the sermon, Muhammad ordered that all of the companions pledge their allegiance to Ali. Topic. See also Islam The First Pilgrimage Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. External links Topic. Sunni http colon slash slash www.islam.com slash article dot aspx question mark it equals four three nine http colon slash slash www.masm and dot org slash documents slash books slash safior underscore Rahman underscore Mubarakbury slash Rahik underscore al underscore Maktum slash seven oh nine htm